Good morning, guys. Today has been a struggle for both energy and appetite. Um, it's 12.30 and I haven't even eaten anything today. Um, which is considerably annoying because I want to use today to pack, get everything packed that I can. Basically pack everything except for, you know, the meds that I need for the next two days, my treatment supplies, and then... I'll run a load of laundry tomorrow night of the clothes I wear today and tomorrow, but I put just put in a big load to pack the majority of it. Because tomorrow I want to just be able to go to the barn, spend some time with Panda, go to bed early, you know, rest and rest up for the uh, early morning and the plane trips and all that. And so tomorrow I just want to be a chill day where I don't have to worry about packing except for, you know, Basically, I can't pack anything till Monday morning after what I packed today because I need my meds and my um, treatment until Monday morning. So, it's really annoying me because I just feel like laying in bed and that's what I've been doing. Uh, I mean, I did my treatment, but besides that, that's what I've been doing since I got up and it's, it's just frustrating. Um, I think my... my um, body is just worn out from yesterday between CF clinic and shopping and then I was out you know it wasn't really hot but I was out at the horses for almost two hours and you know working with warming them and all that and so I think my body's just worn out because last night I got a migraine and I I hardly ever even get headaches like I will maybe get two to three headaches a year but it seems like almost every time I do end up getting a headache on those rare occasions, they get really bad to the point where I just took Tylenol, turned off all the lights, and went to bed, essentially. Um, so thankfully, my head's not hurting anymore. That's great. Um, but it's life with chronic illness. So regardless of whether I'm feeling like Peppy the Pew Pig and running around with energy or feeling drab like I am, I want to get the majority of my packing done today. Um, so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. So, just made myself get out of bed. <laughs> I'm about to go, I just started the laundry. I'm about to go take the dogs out. And, uh, then I'm going to find something to eat. The nice thing is, because we went shopping yesterday, um, I have, like, some of my favorite foods around. So when you're not super hungry, it's easier to eat when you have some, you know, things you really like to eat. So, that is what I'm going to do. Um, and get all that done and then I can rest and not have to worry about it. So that's the plan. Um, CF is not going to stop me today. I'm going to pack for Florida. I'm looking forward to this trip and tired or not, I'm going to do it. So hope you guys have a great day, whether you are feeling tired or energetic and I'll see you guys in a little while. It's the most random assortment of food ever, but I ended up with some instant mashed potatoes and a turkey and avocado sandwich, because that's what sounded good. So, whenever something sounds good, I'll take it. And of course, I gotta take all that too. Hey guys, so I just pulled all my laundry out of the dryer to pack up in my suitcase, and I found these attached to my tank top. This is the second time I've accidentally put this particular pair of headphones through the um, washer and dryer. Because I have I have two pairs of headphones. And um, this one has remained unscathed somehow. This one has been through the washer and dryer once already. Like a couple weeks ago or a month or so ago. And uh, they still worked perfectly. So once I untangle them... It'll be kind of curious to see if they survived a second assault. I, I hope they did because these are mine, the ones that have the little, um, because I have an iPhone 7. These are the ones that have the little adapter on them for this. So, I hope I didn't kill them. But, uh, I guess we're about to find out. Okay, the verdict is they still work. They're a little bit muffled in the, um, right ear. Like, the left ear is louder, but the right ear still works. I can still hear it out of that. Pause and play and uh, volume buttons still work. So, hopefully, I will not sick them through the dryer and washer again. But, 
I don't know if it's a testament to Apple or a testament to my stupidity, but <laughs> apparently these headphones survived two trips through the washer and dryer. So soap and water and dryer and everything. Just these are some tough headphones. <laughs> can't be the only one this happens to. You put a bunch of matching socks in the washer and dryer and you come out with this. Like, I get all these different socks, but their matches are nowhere to be found. Well, I took quite a few rest breaks, but everything that could be packed tonight or today has been packed. <coughs> Now, um, coffee helped me get through that. Um, but now what I'm going to do is make a list of what I need to make sure I have um, come Monday morning. Because I just, I like seeing that list and like being able to check it off and knowing that I have what I need, especially with all the medical stuff. Um, I need to remember to charge this at some point tomorrow. I... Um, I bought this before my last plane ride when I was back in Florida. It's a portable battery charger for my phone, and it became a miracle for me. Like, because I'll be doing I'll be doing a reverse of what I did um, coming out here. So I will be flying Little Rock to St. Louis, changing planes in St. Louis, St. Louis to Atlanta, staying on the plane, Atlanta to Tampa, and where this really came into play for me was. Last time I did Tampa to Atlanta, changed planes, Atlanta to St. Louis, St. Louis to Little Rock. And this came into play when I was sitting at the on the tarmac um, at St. Louis, waiting between the people boarding and the people getting off because I just sat on the plane. This allowed me to charge my phone up from like 60 to 80 so it didn't die on the next flight. So, I've got to charge this tomorrow. That'll be amazing and really helpful. And just make a checklist of all the medical stuff, all the toiletry stuff. Um that I really can't pack till tomorrow, some of it tomorrow night, most of it Monday morning. So that is what I'm going to do and then I can say that I have done all that I can do for today and I got quite a bit done and that leaves me a lot less to do tomorrow and Monday morning. So yay for that and uh, I still have like two hours till I go to the barn so I'm going to rest and enjoy the, the, I don't know, the knowing that I did what I could for today. So I just came down to the barn and I'm just sitting in the shade oh, um, and watching them graze and I might move here in a second so the chip doesn't step on me. Um, yeah, it's pretty hot out tonight so just sitting in the shade and enjoying watching them eat. Um, don't step on me. Um, At least it's not rainy like last night though. It's nice and sunny. It's nice. So yeah, they're all just kind of grazing. I'm sitting in the shade. There is a nice cool breeze, which is very helpful. And um, yeah, just hanging out. They've all forgiven me for last night and the worming and all that. They all let me walk up to them. They didn't run away from me. Well, he's back there. You probably can't see the max scene, but. They've all forgiven me, so just gonna hang out, sit in the shade, listen to some music, and enjoy the evening. Hey guys, so I'm still hanging out with the horses. The sun kind of went behind the clouds, the breeze is really strong, and it's just beautiful. But I wanted to show you these purple flowers. They are incredible, especially with the horses in them. Just beautiful. And I know that, uh, Blondie is a little bit skinny, if any of you were wondering, that's why we gave her the wormer yesterday, so she'll gain her weight back quickly. But, um, yeah, these purple flowers are beautiful. I gotta say, as excited as I am to head to Florida <coughs> Monday morning, <laughs> when it comes down to the last few nights, well, tonight, it's almost dark, I'm gonna have to head home in like 10 minutes, and um, the last few nights and then tomorrow night, I always get a little bit sad because I know I won't see them again uh, for a month and uh, I don't know it always just makes me a little bit sad but that's okay because I'm looking forward to Florida but 
When it comes down to the last couple nights before I leave, I always spend a little bit of extra time at the barn and uh, basically stay till dark. Horse flies are bad tonight. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I am also, it's really nice out here. It's only 83 degrees. So taking advantage of tonight and I'll take advantage of tomorrow night and uh, enjoying my time down here. And they all look like I've cut off their heads because they're all grazing. <laughs> there she is. So, anyway, yeah, just a bunch of nonsense blabbering, but I always get a little bit sad thinking about I won't see them again for a month. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight. I just got home. I literally waited until the last possible minute to walk home because it was just it's such a pleasant evening tonight. I can't even describe it like perfect weather. Um, which probably won't be tomorrow night. Um, and so I'm just sitting on the porch enjoying the last of the, uh, the evening before it's going to be dark in like a couple of minutes. The camera doesn't do it justice. It's a lot darker out here than it actually looks on camera. Um, but yeah, just listening to the crickets sing, the birds sing, and um, enjoying the last of the evening before I head in and uh, take a shower and do my treatment and all that. So. Thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.